So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to lab number six of basic electrical engineering. Uh, the title of the lab is to investigate the voltage regulation of a three phase transformer. Okay. So, the objective of this experiment uh, is to basically learn the concept of regulation of a three phase transformer. And we have already discussed the regulation for a single phase transformer in experiment number uh, four, I guess. So, the transformer will be uh, first of all connected to a rated power supply, and then it will be uh, loaded gradually and change in up, uh, its. and it will be loaded gradually and uh, the change in its terminal voltage will be observed and the results will be investigated by the regulation graph and uh, I will also take your questions uh, you can type them in the chat box and in the end I will also uh, allow you to open your mics and ask questions so uh, let us uh, discuss the brief overview of the three uh, three phase transformer so uh, basically there are two types of construction which are uh, mostly common core type and shell type construction and uh, in a core type construction uh, you, you can see that and uh, there are three limbs this is limb number one number two and number three so there are three limbs and uh, primary and secondary of each phase is on a single limb so if you can see that uh, this is the primary and this is the second and similarly here we have a primary we have a secondary we have a primary and we have a secondary so now uh, instead of single phase we have three phases and three fa these three phases uh, uh, will be connected in delta or star then uh, there is another construction type which is shell type and uh, the shell type construction you can see that uh, every phase has two additional limbs okay so for each phase we have three limbs this is one two and three and the winding is on the center limb and then there is again primary and secondary this is the primary this is the secondary and similar for other forces, for phases okay so there is a question by Muhammad he is asking that uh, how we know about the primary and secondary in transformer there is a circle on primary but what is here now oh you can see that uh, this actually represents the face of both primary and secondary and uh, this dot actually uh, represent the face but in multi sim as we saw that uh, there was dot on only one side so that was uh, representing the primary but uh, actually in sy in symbols you will see the uh, dots on phases of high voltage side and low voltage side so if you are going to use uh, your transformer as a step down transformer so you will uh, uh, use the side with most resistance as a primary and with least resistance as a 
सेकेंडरी सो इन शॉर्ट मैं अगर आपको समझाऊं तो आप रेजिस्टेंस फाइंड करके आप ये डिटरमिन कर सकते हैं कि इसमें हाई वोल्टेज साइट कौन सी है और लो वोल्टेज साइट कौन सी एंड देन फ्रॉम दैट रेजिस्टेंस आपको पता चल जाता है कि अब हाई वोल्टेज साइट है तो अगर मैंने स्टेप डाउन करना है तो पहले मुझे हाई वोल्टेज साइट को इनपुट देना होगा और फिर मैंने सेकेंडरी साइड जो कि लो वोल्टेज साइड है उससे मैंने आउटपुट लेना होगा एंड द रेजिस्टेंस इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स ओके तो जितने आपके नंबर ऑफ टर्न्स ज्यादा होंगे उतनी आपकी रेजिस्टेंस ज्यादा होगी सो आई होप मोहम्मद आपको कुछ आइडिया हो गया होगा ओके सो एज वी कैन सी हेयर दैट देयर आर टू बेसिक कंस्ट्रक्शन कोर टाइप ट्रांसफार्मर्स एंड शेल टाइप एंड मोस्टली जो आपके पास घरों के बाहर लगे होते हैं योर पावर ट्रांसफार्मर्स दे आर एक्चुअली दी थ्री फेज कोर टाइप and uh, these are basically uh, uh, less costly and as well as less bulkier when it comes to construction on large scale or shell type jo hai wo itna use nahi hota uh, these are mostly used for single phase transformer okay then there is another approach for making a trans uh, three phase transformer so फर्स्ट अप्रोच इज टू मेक अ ट्रांसफार्मर यूजिंग अ सिंगल कोर ओके जस्ट लाइक वी हैव थ्री लिम्स ओवर है एंड द अदर अप्रोच इज टू मेक अ ट्रांसफार्मर बैंक टेक थ्री ट्रांसफार्मर्स एंड कनेक्ट दैम टूगेदर एज अ थ्री फेस ट्रांसफार्मर in our lab uh, the approach we will use is a three phase bank so the advantage of this is uh, you can replace every uh, transformer uh, if any transformer is uh, uh, out of order so you can simply replace that single set and uh, uh, so maintenance becomes easy and then there is another approach as you, as we saw that uh, the co the core type transformer it is like a smaller cheaper and and slightly more efficient the voltage regulation uh, we have all already discussed the uh, voltage regulation in experiment number 4 i will repeat it for you the measure of how well okay just give me a second okay guys when you join in kindly mute your mics okay so the measure of how well a power transformer maintains constant secondary voltage over a range of load currents is called transformer's voltage regulation and in other words you can see that uh, you can say that the drop in the total voltage uh, when the transformer is gradually loaded is the percentage regulation and then there is the formula uh, which we already discussed in lab 4 that uh, uh, voltage at no load uh, minus voltage at full load divided by voltage at full load multiplied by 100 so the apparatus we need here is a three phase transformer panel and with the following instruments that is ammeter voltmeter wattmeter rheostat uh, three phase ac power supply um, variable power supply and three phase load plus connecting leads 
and this is how our panel looks like I will explain each part of it so first of all at top we have meters okay this is a voltmeter this is an ammeter then again a voltmeter wattmeter for power and as you know that uh, wattmeter has uh, four inputs two for voltage and two for current and then there is a power factor meter and again there is a wattmeter we have two uh, different voltmeters down there you can see here so this is actually a voltmeter connected to the selector switch so you can see there are four inputs for the selector switch and then this selector switch is connected to voltmeter so the connection there if you see the colors it is red yellow blue and black it, it is neutral actually so uh, the selector switch has multiple ranges uh, of options like you can select uh, red yellow or red blue so if you select R and N on this uh, selector switch then red and neutral will be passed on to the voltmeter and you will simply get the voltage between the potential difference between red and neutral And this is how it works so you can change the range you can select R yellow blue yellow okay and yellow and neutral and so on okay. then uh, we have uh, three transformers you can see them so these three transformers actually three single phase transformers and these three single phase transformers will be connected to make a three phase transformer and it is very simple okay just combine the neutral of all three transformers and these three transformers are now connected uh, as a single three phase transformer and in star configuration and then you can connect the phases to one phase to each transformer and the neutral will be connected here so this is how you connect uh, 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 three multiple uh, different transformers as a single three phase transformer then here we have a three phase variable power supply <coughs> uh, which is controlled by using this variable here is a power relay uh, from which if the green button turns on and the red button turns off the supply and this is your load a variable load and there is only one fuse which you can change okay. so this was all about the panel let us go towards the circuit diagram so the circuit diagram of a, a three phase transformer so uh, we will give a rated three phase supply which is actually uh, 220 for single phase and uh, 380 for line v line okay 
and uh, yes, the formula is simple if you multiply 220 to under root 3 you will get 380 volts and if you divide 380 and if you divide 380 by under root 3 you will get 220 volts okay so this is the voltage configuration and then the secondary side we will connect a voltmeter and an ammeter and then a three phase load okay so this is your uh, diagram on a multi sim uh, software so here you can see three transformers and then there are a few meters connected and there is a load okay the three phase supply you can see it here So you'll we'll make the circuit like this. The pr procedure is to connect the circuit as shown in the circuit diagram. And the measure the output voltage without load and the card tab in table. Gradually increase the load current and measure the output terminal <coughs> voltage. Calculate the voltage regulation and record the values in table and draw the graph and this is the table we will be filling this table then the graph and conclusion Okay, so what we will do first, uh, we will go to multi-sim and make this diagram. So I'll just I'll just open multi-sim. <coughs> so in multi-sim, first of all, click on place then click on components and we will be needing a source click on power sources and click on three phase Y let me make you clear that there are three types of three phase sources a three phase delta and three phase y so i will place both of them uh, so i can just show you that what is the difference between both of them so on my left side there is a three phase delta and this three phase delta has only three connections okay this is the first then the second one and then the third so as you can see that there is no neutral in this three phase uh, power supply and this is mostly used for transmission purposes then on my right side <coughs> uh, I have a three phase Y <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> also known as three phase star 
so we have three phases and we have a common neutral and this is mostly used for distribution purposes by distribution i means uh, i mean that what is uh, the power supply actually coming to your houses so your houses are supplied with uh, uh, with uh, a three phase <coughs> y connection so <coughs> as i told you in start that we will be using a three phase y it is because uh, the supply which is uh, provided to uh, our lab is a three phase y so that's why we will connect our system in y or star okay so there is a question g kaleem is asking sir how we know two phase and three phase okay uh, kaleem there will be a single phase supply and there will be three phase supply so for a single phase supply you will having a minimum two and maximum three connections okay so so for a single phase supply you will be having minimum two connections like this and maximum three there can be a earth as well and for a three phase system you will have minimum four connections with three phases and one neutral and you can check them uh, by uh, simply a voltmeter So I needed a three phase power supply. If I configure it, I should configure it at 220 volts per phase. And uh, it will automatically configure it to 380 volts uh, in, as a line to line voltage. Then I also need a ground. I need a ground for my power supply next I need transformers so click on place click on components click on all groups and then we have transformers so last time we used uh, one primary and one secondary transformer the same transformer we will be using here but number of transformers will be three so just place a single transformer first of all we will configure it and then we will make more copies so double click on it as we know that the transformer we are using is a step down transformer from 220 volts to 50 volts so in multi sim what you do basically is uh, you can simply define the number of turns and that will be your voltage as well okay so we have configured our transformer and now we will make copies of it right click copy or you can use control C paste simply or you can also use control V 
okay so first of all we have to rotate this because uh, the one transformer uh, in oh, if you see in the panel so we need to get it in this here you can see and the supply is here so just right click uh, rotate it counterclockwise and here you go similarly you can make copies so I made a total of two copies so three transformers I'm having here Next, we also need to flip this uh, power supply horizontally so I can get my phases to the left side. And then there is a the ground also. So, as I told you, we will be connecting the neutral of these transformers together and you can color this neutral and give it a black color and this is the standard the uh, phases are red yellow and blue and uh, the uh, neutral is colored black Here we go. Okay, so this was the uh, neutral connection for the primary side. And now we are connecting the phases. This is the first phase. This is the second. And I will color the second phase as yellow. And then there is the third phase. I'll give it blue color. So red, yellow and blue, three phases, as you can see, and neutral I have combined and it is now a star or pi connection. So this is now uh, the primary configuration, <coughs> we also need a multimeter. Uh, to observe the voltage in uh, at the primary so just connect this voltmeter <coughs> between two phases click on it and select AC and volts so now the connections on primary side are done now let's connect the secondary first of all we will connect the neutral together and we will color it black and next we will connect these phases to load so for load what we need is a bulb so click on place click on components 
and you can see virtual lamp click ok and here you got a lamp uh, we also need a uh, few switches over here so I will just search for them in the basic sideguard switch and all the way down I need single pole and single throw switch click on OK and here we have it so uh, we have to configure these uh, bulbs so double click on it as you know that your voltage for a single phase is 220 and uh, you can also set the watts so the minimum uh, wattage bulb we get is 15 uh, but uh, we'll go to 50 watts okay so a 50 watt it's a 50 watt bulb then the uh, switch is also here so we have to rotate it and then connect them together and also make two copies for other two phases now similarly just like uh, the transformers we also need to connect the neutral of these bulbs together and then connect them to the transformer we have to connect each phase but uh, as you can see in your diagram we need to connect a ammeter here so you can connect a single ammeter uh, if uh, the loads are balanced then uh, all the three currents will be same mm -hmm. or you can connect three uh, ammeters as well so click on multimeter and we need multimeter for each phase double click on them configure it to AC and amps and connect them to into the transformer this is the first phase connected here comes the second phase and uh, recolor it as yellow This is the third phase. You should recolor it as blue. So now we have three phases. Okay, let's recolor this one as well. Red, yellow, and blue.
we also need a voltmeter uh, for the secondary we simply connect a voltmeter between any two of the phases so I have connected a voltmeter between yellow phase and blue phase you can connect it between red and uh, yellow as well so if you want I can do it like this and double click it and set it to AC volts so the circuit is complete now and uh, this is uh, multimeter 1 your input voltage multimeter 5 is your output voltage or secondary voltage then we have three multimeters the multimeter 2 is the voltage of red phase then we have voltage of yellow phase and voltage of blue phase uh, sorry these are currents uh, multimeter 2 3 and 4 are currents of all the three phases so let's simulate the circuit also need to connect the ground on the secondary side Let's copy this one okay so for now the uh, current looks like very low so we'll increase the current uh, by increasing the voltage we'll increase the watts to 100 for each bulb So there's a mistake over here. Uh, the secondary is rated at 50 volts, and we have uh, configured it as 220. So we'll simply change it to 50 volts. As you can see, that our transformer is a step-down transformer uh, from 220 to 50 volts. I'll just uh, configure it to 50. Okay, so now we have uh, a current of 1 ampere passing through each of the winding. So as you can see now, uh, that when we disconnect this uh, load on this uh, transformer, so the voltage is around 86 volts okay so it is around 86.609 volts and when we uh, switch on the load when we put the load on our transformer the voltage drops to 86.582 volts 
so it means that by increasing the current on your transformer uh, your voltage will drop now we will note these values in the table the no load voltage was 86.606 volts at 3 uh, or you can say 0 amperes okay and then when we apply the load on on our transformer the voltage had, has dropped to 86.582 and the current is 1 ampere Now, uh, when we have to find the regulation, we will simply put the values uh, here in this formula. So, this is your no load voltage 86.606 and minus your full load voltage 86.582 and divided by your for load voltage and all the values are then multiplied by 100 the resultant is multiplied by 100 so let us do this simple calculation zero point two four and divided by eighty six point five two and multiplied by hundred okay. so eighty six point six zero six minus eighty six one five eight two this value is divided by eighty six point five eight two and this value is then multiplied by hundred so it is zero point zero two so it means that when a load of one ampere per phase is applied on your transformer then the voltage will drop by 0.02 percent and uh, coming towards the lab report so i have uh, I will upload this on your Google Classroom and here I have uh, given a set of table set of values in this table and you can see that the first value is given and the one with calculated here and then there are values of other uh, loads and you simply have to calculate this value make the graph if you can and conclusion is must okay so this was all about the lab uh, now we will take the attendance and uh, uh, you can open your mics and ask me questions as well